All right, let's hang out on Aries Live. It's Alicia Stringer here, always empowering success streams, and we are on the Millionaire Mindset Hangout. And I'm so excited if you, you are here. And if you are here watching us live, please share in the comments below who you are, where you're from, and maybe why you're here, because we got some powerful insights on powerful team consistency we're going to be talking about today. Um, I think I actually, what did I actually name the Hangout? And how to unleash powerful teams using consistency. This was an underlining theme in the in the last event that I just was at in Unleash Nashville. And I thought we'd talk a little bit about it and um, how we've been doing things. So let me go over and introduce Greta. And then I'm going to come out and share a few more insights about me and stuff. <laughs> hey, hey. So Greta, share with us where you're at. Here you are. What what did you do before you were online, and maybe why we're here? Okay, can you hear me? I can. Yeah. So as I'm, um, obviously I'm a I'm a stay at home mom. <laughs> my name is Greta Campagnolo. For those of you who don't know me, I didn't get a chance to get my name up there yet, but I'll I'll get it on there as soon as I have few more free hands and my little one just keeps grabbing for my mouse. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am, um, I'm a homeschooling mom of half a dozen kids and we live on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. And before I got started online, I had been introduced to a network marketing company um, selling healthy chocolates and I kind of got into it first of all just because I was really tired I just had uh, my fifth uh, child and River and I was just so exhausted and just felt like I needed something there was something that needed to change I didn't know if it needed to be you know my diet or something I just felt like I wanted to get out there and start exercising and moving more and taking better care of my health but I was like so tired that I couldn't see how I was going to be able to do that I felt like at this place uh, I was at this place where I felt like okay if I actually start exercising am I going to have the energy that I need for my kids for the rest of the day or whatever it was so so yeah, all of a sudden that sort of, I knew what I wanted to feel. I wanted to feel more energized. I wanted to just feel better. So um, because I was focusing on that, these opportunities kind of came into my life. It was the first sort of network marketing experience I'd ever had. And um, it, was, it was a cool experience because I, I got more connected into personal development and into people who were you know, devoted to bettering themselves and 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 finding better health and all that sort of stuff. So it, I definitely feel like, you know, even though it wasn't quite um, the company that I felt was the right one for me, <laughs> and in my in in sharing my values, um, it was still a very good experience because it led me to this hangout and where I am today. So. Um, that's kind of how it all started, and I was just looking for more authenticity, basically. I really felt like I wasn't resonating with the message, and um, and and I was looking for something more. And I hope he didn't just, he keeps kicking my laptop and stuff here while he's feeding. But um, he's a little, yeah, 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 he's a little bit cranky, so um, yeah, basically, I. I knew I wanted to find a better way of marketing as well. And I didn't really want to do home parties anymore. That wasn't really something. It was something that I did, but I was carrying a lot of the weight of my team and hosting all the parties at my house, having to get my kids and my family to leave or having them there. And um, as much fun as it was, it just, I, I really felt like I wanted to, to increase my reach you know, I live in a pretty small area and I just felt like I wanted to touch more people that had the same sort of values. And in order to do that, it was like 
kind of a no brainer. It was like, go online. It just led me here. And I've in doing that, met some of the most amazing people in my life. And, you know, my kids are connected to them. And I've just gained so much knowledge and insight and awareness for so many different areas in my life because of these other connections and connecting to other people that have similar values and just learning from each other. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. <laughs> that's awesome. It, you feel right, right away that you're, yeah. you're longing for something and looking for something else. And a lot of people feel that way. I know that um, you're like, there's something missing. I'm just not sure what. And um, you just searching, searching, searching for the right thing. And um, that's kind of what, what led me here. Let's see. Um, how do we start this? I, what I was doing online before was, I've been always teaching piano. <laughs> so um, teaching piano. And then I moved to a place where I didn't, couldn't find any students. So I looked online and trying to find another skill to master, right? And in order to um, get some a different income, because I what I was doing, you know, it, there wasn't a way because the demand wasn't there. I didn't have any students, the, the economy crashed, and I had to get online. And that was a different drive, I think. I didn't even know what a network marketing company was. I didn't even know what affiliate marketing was. And I didn't know anything. <laughs> just got online and just had a brand new baby too, and said, "Okay, I'm going to be nursing." Hand on the mouse on one hand, <laughs> figuring it out. And I think that's uh, where a lot of people jump online. They just don't know. You got, you know, I got to look for something. I'm searching for something. I don't know what. And that's what leads to finding the right people that are in that same situation, same um, re related type thing. We're just, I need to make some money. I, I, if it's a millionaire mindset, let's go for it because it seems more professional. It seems more real. It seems more um, something that I can align and, and be proud to be a part of. And I think that's where um, kind of why I was here. I wanted to connect with people that were like me, that I knew could be consistent with me and know that you know i'm driven to make this happen i was like i have a daughter at home it has to work you know <laughs> i have people depending on me and and making sure that you're dependent so i think it's powerful to know um people to know why we're here why we got online um because it was such a, a long time ago for me because my daughter's now eight and i was doing it when i was nursing as well like greta when um, your kids are so little and you just go through so many transformations, not only with your body when you're when you have kids, but and your mindset, who you are, and you just really reevaluate things, um, kind of for the future when you when you're in that position. So I, I'm so glad for anybody that's joined us to to know why we're here and why we want to help you get to the millionaire mindset. So there's a link below that we've got all this information to learn a little bit more after our hangout, click that and just kind of go through and, and really evaluate the stuff that we have to offer here to go into the stuff we're going to talk about today on building teams to consistency is everybody's got to be consistent when you're having kids you're like how can i keep this up you're just always juggling everything juggling laundry to juggling how they're going to eat <laughs> all the time i think that's the most two important things that come out to me <laughs> laundry and eating come out first right? so um the first thing Greta's over there building her team with her kids and we're building our teams with online people. So we've got a lot of stuff kind of we're covering and making sure that not only in our life, but um, the powerful insights that we can apply in this business and it just comes full circle. So some things to kind of think about. We have about three questions I would ask today. We might not go like a full hour, but I wanted to share some insights from the event and how this really relates to um, a lot of things that was going on. So this is much a powerful event, and, and this one was the one that really stood out to what enabled a lot of the leaders to stand out. So one of the questions I had was, 
Um, when we're doing something to promote, to um, really take action, to really do something ourselves to get things out there and finding ways to get our team involved, um, would you do you invite your team to do something that you would not do? You're kind of evaluating some of the different leaders and what they're doing and how they're approaching different things. And maybe they have a story similar to you. Maybe they don't. But um, do you see um, I don't know if I'm asking this question the right way. <laughs> Help me a little bit, Greta. But when you see people that are have results, um, do you invite your team to do something that you would not do? Like that would um, how you're taking it, action in there? It. I would say that it depends. Um, personally, I, I'm not sure. I wasn't at the event, so I'm just speaking from where my own experience and how I feel. Um, about that situation, I, I think it's just just like anybody else. Everybody is unique, has a unique lifestyle, or you know they 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 have you know a different life. Everybody leads a different life and has different amounts of time and are busy doing different things. Not everybody has half a dozen kids, <laughs> you know. And so there's different routines and different things that fit in. Some people have strengths in certain areas that I don't even go because that's just that's not something that resonates with me that's not the type of marketing that that fits with what i you know feel comfortable with or you know so basically i really feel like um just because somebody's on my team doesn't mean they have to necessarily i mean there's some key essential things that we should follow but i really feel like everybody in order to be able to authentically portray your message and your story and your vision that you should really, um, that people really need to have the opportunity to, to go through those experiences themselves. You can help guide them to different areas, maybe by really getting to know your team, getting to know your team members is such a critical part because then you can really help to navigate them towards what would work best for them specifically. Um, does that make sense? Or, or is it too loud? <laughs> uh -huh. when, I think it's powerful to know the, um, I, I want to say back end in a way, or really know the, the leader that you're recommending or something or that you're doing, and maybe the why. So I like how you, uh, mentioned that it's important to know their vision and make sure it's aligned with um, what where they're going because if something's not aligned right it's, it's not going to go right in in the first place anyways so it's make sure that um, you're you know the leader and what they're doing and how they're aligned I think the the most powerful um, leader that um, we're really focused on team building inside of um, the event was Tracy Walker. She, um, they focused on this on the, the last Sunday VIP all in day. And she um, went through um, several different, um, it was kind of overwhelming in a way. I don't have to go back through my notes, but um, she, she really focused on that and how transparent you need to be. You know, that is why you need to have, you know, that closet out, the relatable stuff, so you know where they're aligned. Maybe they are the rock star musicians and can align with those leaders that are musicians. Maybe they are, love to work out on the couch and they're kind of lazy. <laughs> so you might want to align with how it works with that lifestyle. Or maybe they like to surf and you really want to find out what's the surfing dude doing to build their teams because maybe they have that same lifestyle and can relate to them and connect with them a lot better. And, and putting your experiences out there and being transparent in that will get your team stronger. They will see how um, authentic authentic you are to make sure that they're aligned in the same way. Um, an, another one, um, um, I think Aaron Rashkin has built several, several teams and um, it, he, I love he him. pulls out of the closet. Yeah. <laughs> He's really deep 
and and that's why I say it's like deep kind of love because it's like I'm having to analyze what he says. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you think. And I think that the people might take that the wrong way if they're, you know, don't really know me, but um, it's a really deep insight. I have to think about it. It's like you're reading this book and you don't understand it the first time and you have to read it like four times and really understand the sentence. That's how it <laughs> comes off to me. Yeah. So he said that, you know, we all have adversity. We all have um, those problems and challenges out there in a way. So how do you stay focused and, and bring in your teams to something um, that can be aligned with you? Maybe it's not aligned with you, but you know that it works. So he, he suggests, you know, it, you have transparency and you have dirty laundry. <laughs> And <laughs> <laughs> I tried to tuck away as much of my as actually the laundry I was tucking away before the hangout was was mostly predominantly clean. <laughs> so. I was just like literally, but you know what I mean. I, I'm just joking. <laughs> I know. I need to have to bring out the laundry again for all moms. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You have to be, um, you have that in front attitude and you have the transparency. So you have to have that balance. And, you know, I have made this mistake before going that balance between you don't share your struggles with your team. You have to have someone else to share those struggles with. And I know I have made this mistake with my team. So it's so powerful to see him being transparent and that was saying that. And I, I guess I align with Aaron as well, being that we've both been, you know, through a, a divorce pretty recently. And mm -hmm. the way that you have to deal with that personal life, along with building that team that knows you're going through that personal struggle, but they don't really need to um, know, know those insights or go through that personal struggle with you and know what will enable them and strengthen them to build that success, um, no matter what your, your personal struggle is. And I think freeing yourself of these transparency, dirty laundry type of stuff um, just gives you a bigger clarity to me, um, awakening, you know, and it, it make, makes a more clear, fine line for me going, you know, you're my team. I have personal struggles. You don't need to worry about it. You stay strong yourself. And and build to take action in a way that you're inspired and stuff because your team's watching you all the time and how you're dealing with your personal struggles. Like you're, you're the mom and you have to be the example for your team and you don't want that dirty laundry to get in the way <laughs> because that can stop your team. They can just turn around and go and then you're going to have to like reach beyond, build your team in a different way. So he gave some very powerful insights and, in, you know, you have to draw leaders and, and keep that focus in there. I took, I took tons of notes, as you could tell, Greta, I'm a big, huge note taker. And they're like mumbling and rumbling to me right now <laughs> because they're just like, oh my goodness, I had so many, you know, those breakaway moments. And yeah. I, ho I hope that those little tips is helpful for some people because you, you have to be in an event and really sit there and, you know, soak it in in a way that impacts you. And when you reflect in a way that impacts you, maybe it can impact others because if you listen to him, it would be a different impact to you than it was to me. And I'm just yeah. sharing my notes and insights of how it was impacted and um, so I know from like my experience, the same way kind of from his experience to you know um, the relationship that you have to build with your team, the relationship you have with your personal life and being transparent enough to that your team doesn't have to know those details and watching some of his videos and really clarified that for me. Maybe maybe his last blog post that he even did before I saw him in, at the event was um, sharing, you know, this is what happened to me during this struggle, what I did to, um, what the challenges I had and what I did and what I realized what happened after it. 
And knowing those, those little transitions um, helps you become more transparent in a way that, that people will follow and, and build your team stronger. Be consistent, right? Yeah, absolutely. I am um, just sitting here and just, I, I was just because you holding up all your notes and everything, you know, I it, just because I didn't go to this event this time doesn't mean I haven't been before. And it's, you know, being able to that that's why I'm here on this hangout. I mean, what happens at events is is truly um, it's it's taking your life and your business to a whole other level in such like a short period of time, like where maybe that would have, maybe you would have gotten to to that point without going to the event, but it would have taken you, you know, maybe even months longer to get to where you were. And it helps you to kind of stay grounded, reconnect with your heart, your why, you know, and, and you know, reconnecting with that burning fire within being surrounded by people that have this, you know, this, this amazing energy and everybody's just so happy to see each other because we're all, we, we're all connecting and, and sharing our lives and our stories on the inside, you know, and the outside, you know, sharing our dirty laundry with certain people, not necessarily our, our direct team of, you know, we, we want to inspire them by example and show them once we've overcome certain challenges, like you were saying, um, what, you know, what we were going through, how we got through it to help inspire other people to, to show them that they can get through same or similar situations. And, you know, those, you know, being able to sit back, be on the outside to know what it's like to experience the events, and then to be home and to be able to sit back and watch my friends and these people that have become so near and dear to my heart just flourish into this amazing creature of just confidence and 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 it it for me it's so it just it's warm, me. it yeah it just really I mean I've seen so many people go from a position that you know some people would never have thought that they could ever develop into who they've become today like it's just so it would be so hard to imagine somebody going from not being able to say a word to not being able to be quiet or just being so alive and just being so bold and confident to be able to share and, and speak and you know speak life into people by just sharing their stories and sharing their heart and not giving a crap what anybody else thinks and you know it's, it's seeing people just speak better you know just the one person that keeps coming into my mind honestly is patricia henry she is awesome. like she had to to watch her it, it just on on this last event it was like she was on fire she was on fire and i've been there through her journey you know in the back during during different moments and we all have our challenges. We all have our weaknesses. But man, oh man, that woman is turning out to be like the biggest, greatest powerhouse. It's just so cool to see her step into her power. And there's there are so many other women and men as well. We were just talking about Chris. Uh, not sorry, not Chris. Um, Chad. Oxstat. I don't want to totally annihilate your name. I'm sorry, your last name. I'm sorry if I did. <laughs> I've been there, but Chad. Anyways, it it, it was another one that uh, we were talking about before, and just so many people. You, you, Alicia. Everybody. Valerie. Keisha. It's been an amazing experience watching everybody grow into the people that they were always meant to be, and that to me is worth everything to 
do what it takes to get to those events and, and be there because I see the results, I felt the results, and um, it's truly, truly inspiring. To inspire others, you must come from a place of inspiration yourself. You must start within yourself. And um, and for me, it, it, it's like that true essence. It, it taps you into that, that deep inspiration that you have, that everybody has within themselves. It's just a matter of letting go of any fears and surrounding yourself with people who accept you for who you are before you can even accept you for who you are because I think that's one of the biggest struggles that most people face is that those limited beliefs and that lack of understanding even in yourself or seeing that you're not so different from everybody else you know you we are we are all unique and beautiful in our own ways but we are essentially the same as well. It's just a matter of acceptance and letting go and embracing, you know, who you are. Right. So make sure you're connecting with us. You can Google our names and you can Google my name and find me on Facebook. And that's what Greta's talking about. We're connected on Facebook and you can see the threads of, you know, the updates. So make sure you're following her and um, following some of the people that we're recommending and you can see a journey and it's, it's something to really understand the journey that people are on so the the first thing i want to ask you or really clarify that a lot of people when they're wanting to build team consistency they've let go they're watching this journey and they're like i'm going to be on a journey but what is like some of the the first advice that we need to give to our team we need to you know one of the first things we we encourage them with and um Maybe there's just things that they need to do, obviously, when they get in, to be our end team. There's action plans. But really, truly, like, um, just simple advice. There's lots of advice out there um, that you can give to a, a brand new team member that they come on. And if you guys that are listening and watching, if you have first advice for a team member, and we haven't mentioned it, because there's a lot of advice that you could give to a team member, please post in the comments. We want to create as much value as you can that, you know, anybody's brand new starting on this, um, or if you, they, they're looking to give advice for their new team members, let's share some comments below. And, and Greta, what, what advice would you give to a new team member? You're muted. <laughs> you, you, I don't can hear you. Okay. Are you there? I think, uh, yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. It's funny because I've put up my lower third. It says it's on, but I can't see it. You can't see it, can you? I can't see it. I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. Stuff. Just the way it goes. <laughs> Anyways, it's all good. I, um, I really feel that, like I said earlier, it's important to get to know who your new team members are, you know, really reach out and and get to know why they initially made the decision to to join, you know, what drew them there, and to really get them focused on why they're exactly why they are doing what they're doing, why they made the decision, really clarifying what their own vision is, what their own desires are and um, what their goals and dreams are. Just really, I think that's important to get them connected to that because there's gonna be points uh, throughout their journey where they're gonna question themselves and question the path that they're on or you know, have moments of doubt and weakness and, and, and helping actually finding out what that why is yourself as well um, as a leader and a part of the team, you know, um, is that that will help you be able to remind them when they're having those moments as well. So I think that, you know, that's one very important thing to, to help them find out and, and to discover. For, for me, uh, um, personally, the best way that I have connected to, to my why is by doing um, one of the exercises that I was first introduced uh, to by Layla in the Superwomen group, um, the, um, the well-formed outcome. And being able to do that, I know we've done that 
on the Hangout here as well. I think uh, Valerie took that you through that as well. So if anybody's interested in finding out that exercise, uh, you can definitely have access to that as well. And we can put the link to the Hangout in the comments as well. Awesome, awesome. Um, so many powerful insights on making sure that they're um, aware of their goals, where they're going and stuff first. And um, when I think of consistency and giving advice to a new team member to keep them around, um, there you got to look at the, the their long term goal and knowing, you know, what what are they um, what can they do to keep them around? And I'm, I'm looking at my team and what has kept them around is so powerful. I didn't realize some of the little things that has kept them around. And I will tell you that the super women group has really kept my team around and the daily teleseminars that we've been doing at consistent basis. We all work as a team to make sure those as hard as we can to keep those calls going. Even though I hear on there, you know, maybe only five people can get on live, maybe only 10 people, but you know that some of those five live people was part of my team. And that is what gravitate going. I can come here and be empowered and have a home where I feel like I'm welcome, I'm secure, and I'm supported. Most people that got on stage that was brand new did not feel that they had the support around them and knowing a place that they can go to feel that that true support, that true welcome home was so powerful for so many people. It make, makes you cry. That's like one of the whys that I have for my team is they have a home that they feel that they have true support. And having that heart in your team and giving them advice going, you know, you got to plug in this culture's community and get on these daily calls, give them a schedule. This is where your support is. This is where your home is. This is where um, you can, you, you got to plug in and be a part of, and your voice will be so powerful in a way that you're going to stand out for your team to go on there. So that that call, the super women call, and the other call for the men, if they can't, they don't feel like they're aligned with the women, is to get on the um, the morning call with Paul Hutchings and the Think and Grow Rich call because they're reading through content, a book, and um, it, it feels like you're growing in a systematic way when you're you're reading daily you're listening to the audio and they have that mastermind where you can step out and share your voice when you come on live <laughs> right <laughs> can't get that on the recorded calls you you have a chance that they are live calls that you can plug in and make sure that that you can be a part of and i think that's why this is so this is this hangout here has helped me be consistent in a way too, because I'm lying with these ladies here. This helped me keep consistent. People can recognize and come here and know that they um, can get some insights and value that they can go and apply into their lives that are relevant to them. Everybody picks up things in different ways. It's not, it's not like something that you're going to get one time. It's something that is on a consistent basis that you are doing on a consistent basis that you are potentially growing. It's like stair steps. You can't just come and to read one part of Think and Grow Rich and think you're going to build a powerful team. That's just not the way it works. You've got to gradually take that step up the stairs and say, look, you've got to plug in. You've got to call that Think and Grow Rich call every morning and get a section part of that book and continuously grow. So I will tell you, like, you know, two of my team members are so strong because they plug in to those, those mindset calls. They know the value of making sure that they are plugged in. So if you're part of my team and you're not plugged into some of these calls that are daily, that are regularly, that are weekly like this, that is the first advice that I have that helps you grow personally. You've seen team members 
the teams that are the strongest have this consistent schedule that is based on there that will enable them to grow, that will help them find a support way to um, get them to feel like they, they have a team support. They will always be there for them. And that is so powerful because there's so many teams around that are not around, <laughs> are not on a consistent basis. I can tell you, these have been around for several years and have kept my team consistent. I'm so thankful for all the support that I have and the mentors I have that's helped me keep all that going. I totally agree and can completely relate. And that's, I think, you know, essential part in really figuring out the, the places and, and how to how to set them up in the best way possible from the very beginning um, is actually looking at, okay, well, what's helped me? What has worked for me? You know, and, you know, what has worked for you and and sharing that and and you're so right i mean the superwoman community um is basically i mean that has been my heart and soul of being a part of this whole thing it's just um been everything and it's like when i have these moments that have crept up on me it's like i know uh, I know I'm going to be, you know, I, as soon as I hop on one of those calls or as soon as I hop on this hangout, you know, or I, I send a message, oh, I might not, I might not hop on or whatever. And then all I need to hear is like, or even to, to just have a little sticker sent or something, you know, those little stickers that they send in messenger or whatever, like, it's like these connections run so deep and they're so wrong that I mean that it, it's there's there's no way that I I would ever want to willingly just walk away and and not have this this amazing love in, in my life it's just it's so I, I I can understand how you can feel emotional about that sort of thing because it's it's all life to me it's all about relationships and connection and and that's I mean essentially in the end I think what what we think about and you know when when it's our time to pass whatever happens after that but you know we don't think about all the materialistic things we think about those connections and those memories and moments that we've had with the people that we've been blessed with in our lives and um, keeping those connections going and keeping our teams plugged in and our team members plugged into that that culture I mean it's so rich and inviting and invigorating and uplifting that you just you know once you've got bit by that bug you just don't you don't want to leave it's just it's such a a beautiful experience and um, and and an accepting experience to be a part of you know because you're you're in there with all these people who essentially are kind of working the same thing that you're working but there's no competition going on you're there to serve and to help each other no matter what team you may be on so that's Very just kind of my feeling about that and if anybody wants to know the, the calls that we're talking about, if you're on the millionairemindsethangout.com, you can scroll all the way below the comments stream that we have, and we have the call details below there. So you can write those down or reference that um, anytime. We have all those, those call details that you can be a plugged in part of. Um, the last question before we close it out is, um, Maybe I've already discussed this in a, in a little bit of way, but um, we can clarify some qualities or some things that what keeps a team consistent. You know, what kind of things do you do? What kind of things the team should do to stay consistent? Because, um, you know, consistency is key when you're king or key, <laughs> the trigger when you're making money. So what kind of 
what kind of things keeps your team, your family, whatever <laughs> keeps it consistent? <laughs> you have anything, Greta? I might try to find something here. I've got little ones making so much noise behind me here. Oh, As, that's okay. Yeah. Um, so I didn't quite hear exactly what you just said. They're just, I'm trying to. What make keeps myself. your team consistent? What keeps what, them? <laughs> what keeps them motivated? Uh -huh. Consistent. What keeps them? Can what's your keeps your team consistent? Yeah, I think well, motivation has a part of it. I think obviously, um, what helps to keep your team consistent is showing them consistency by the actions that you take, for sure. Um, because you know you can you can tell somebody to do something all you want. You know, I kind of look at look at my kids as you know, as a good example of, of a team. And I, I always tell them we're, we're a team here. We work together, you know, before I got on this hangout, you know, I had a little squabble sort of mini thing with my daughter and dishes and stuff like that. <laughs> and it's like, you know, there's always that little thing. Well, they didn't do that. And, you know, it's just all this kind of little nitpicky stuff. And, and I just reminded her, you know, we, we're all a team. We all do things, you know, do things to help out. You know, some, some things, you know, it's, you know, you've got your daily routine that you do. And then you can do a little extra, you know. It's just the way that it goes, you know. You just, you, you see something that needs to be done, you, you do it. You know, you just, you don't wait. You know, you just, you take action on things if you want things to be a certain way and I've got a little one crying at the door right now but um, yes definitely showing my children what to do rather than telling them what to do is much more effective so if that works with little ones I am um, you better believe it works with you know bigger ones <laughs> as well you know, and, and helping your team. I mean, there's nothing more inspiring than seeing somebody take action and creating results that you desire yourself. There just really isn't. So true. So that's what Tracy Walker was going out sharing. She shared um, three different things on when you build a team, what you can do to build that leverage to keep them consistent. And then she said she shared seven steps to build from the ground up. So I'm not going to share the seven steps. I'm going to share the three. So you can have a little bit of insight. But you got to get to events. And um, I might share the seven steps later, later, later. And maybe if you're all in my team. <laughs> because honestly, I can't give away all the secrets. If I went to pay for this event, you, you got to, you got to, you know, some leverage out there to get buy all the products in order to get some leverage to get some insights from the rest, right? <laughs> so a little taste for what she said was, you know, if you want to build a stream, you want to build leverage. Um, you know, she had leverage as being um, an investor, a broker, and she was, you know, trying to sell houses. So she related to that. And building a team, um, she shared was, you know, you, you can go and, you know, sell houses, but if you're like a brokerage, you can sell multiple houses. You're building a team for people to sell houses for you and you're getting a, um, a portion of that. So that leverage is so important and you have to reach out um, kind of beyond them to know the power of that, that leverage and what you're going to keep around. So her number two was retention that what, what is the key to keeping them consistent? What's, the key to keep them more powerful so you don't lose that. And the one thing that she said to do was build a community. And you've got to feel like they're part of something. They're, there's something um, for yourself, but not by yourself. So we're all building our own business, we're all building our own income, but we're all in doing this together. So you're not by yourself building that. And maybe you've heard that before, and maybe you've never heard that before, but you can take it to heart in, in different ways that you feel like you're part of something. You feel you're better with you than being without in the community. So really be aligned with what the community is doing. And so you can feel like you're a part of it. You're involved and knowing people will miss you if you're not there. You know, that's like you. it's a church 
congregation too. That's the community. You know, welcome back to the church. You know, it's just a different approach when you're out there. You're building a team, and it's a voluntary basis. And um, you know, we're we're bringing people in on an inspirational, voluntary basis that you're you're coming in. You have to know understand the difference between that and oh, I'm going to outsource you for to get work done. And they know exactly what they're expected of. Um, you either did the job or you didn't, or you come in voluntarily and you're you're trying to keep them around as well. So understanding that relationship on where that boundary is and what your expectations are too. And the third thing is um, this one kind of goes beyond because um, it's, you know, what keeps your team consistent is seeing that expansion, seeing that growth, that they're part of something that's growing, that's part of um, more of a global opportunity. Dang, we're getting stuff translated in like four languages in five weeks. Dang, it's like so fast, like Germany, Portugal, um, you know, some powerful countries that, you know, Spanish and, you know, global opportunity happening right here and seeing the expansion that they can be a part of something that's bigger than them helps them be involved and in, and in staying consistent and what what's building. They're like, oh, I see the big picture now. I see what I'm a part of and that that can help them. So you, you've got to grow. You've got to be yourself and, and continuously take action so they can see how big of a deal that they can be a part of something that's bigger than, bigger than them. And, and that sometimes it's a hard to really come across because you're coming across that I'm going to be one of those hundred million dollar ring earners and maybe they don't want to, but they know that their leader wants to be a part of that. <laughs> they see a bigger picture going, oh, she wants to be one of those million dollar ring earners. And I want to help support her get there, you know, and, you know, wanting my team, maybe my team wants to do that too, knowing exactly their goals and stuff, seeing that bigger expansion. So hopefully those three things were powerful in a way for you to help understand what keeps a team consistent. Because when you have those dynamics, of you know what what you're leveraging how um you're keeping that retention around and how you really want to keep expanding and growing and they see you taking action they see you you doing that can be very powerful that's awesome i love that it totally it, it makes perfect sense and and it, you you see it all the time and and that's you know that's the thing. It's like you, you're, you're taking action. You're taking consistent action, which is inspiring your team, uh, just in itself to keep doing it. And they're, they're, you know, as long as it's, you know, a simple, simple actions, daily actions that you're taking every day and they see it and they're a part of that, then they see themselves doing it. Then they start taking action and to, to be tuned in. Um, sometimes people don't always know exactly right away what they're, why is or what their vision is for themselves so to so to be inspired by your vision as a leader um it helps to to, to see for it helps them to see and sort of find their own path towards their own vision and, and goals or to sort of go off of that or to see themselves being a part of of that as you were saying being a part of something bigger than than who they are being able to you know, a lot of people, I, I mean, you have to be a, a lover of helping others to be a part of something like this, I feel, you know, like you have to have a love for people and really, um, yeah, be passionate about helping others. And and in, and in doing that, you know, sometimes it's hard to help yourself. You've got to help, you know, others before you can give that attention to yourself. You know, as, as a mother, I can... I'm sure you can relate, Alicia. You know, they always say you got to start with yourself. But as as a mom, it's hard at times. You know, um, as much as I'd like to say I always put myself first, I don't. That would be a complete lie. <laughs> and I like to be honest and transparent about that. You know, like so much of why I do what I do is for my kids, and that's in the end what fulfills me. Um, seeing that I'm helping them uh, pursue their dreams. I'm helping guide them towards their passions. 
and and make sure that those passions are nurtured that they never ever lose sight of them so that they that they don't reach a point in their lives where they're like i don't know what i want i don't know what i like i don't you know it's i think a lot of times we lose sight of that because we're told that we need to do this 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 and this or we're not going to be successful you know there's only one way one path towards success you know and success is only in one area of your life and it's just silly so i mean um yeah that's me going on a little bit of a tangent but that's why i do what i do that's why i homeschool or unschool i should say um because uh, i just it's about nurturing from the inside out and allowing what's already there to develop into what was always meant to be so yes, anyway exactly. <laughs> yeah totally and and it's powerful to to really apply that and it seems like some people think oh i've heard this before the same thing and how how are you really applying it daily um is is something that people want to see how you are applying it daily what what you're doing and we all have different ways of doing it. It's really going back to your R and, you know, like you said, the well-formed outcome and it just comes all full circle in, in that and how you validate yourself of showing that. So I'm going to end with my notes. <laughs> Ending on repeating some things that are very grateful for us in ways that puts it within you. There's things that we have to kind of repeat and say mantras or um, whatever you say. I forgot what they're called, but affirmations, right? You have to say those daily affirmations, affirmations. I always get them backwards. <laughs> so um, if you repeat after me and say, I am grateful, I am grateful. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can be consistent. Am I supposed to say I know I I can be consistent? See, or you you got to fix my affirmations. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're probably better at these than me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's more powerful if we keep it in. I in the first person. I see I. that's why I have to do these Greta <laughs> so you because so, you need you need this just as much as Alicia needs this just as much as I'm you like need this as much as I need this so let's go <laughs> let's start again it's all good I love affirmations you know positive affirmations they're so powerful we use them in our home throughout the day at least three times a day and it's seriously amazing so let's do this thank you Greta. you start them off you do three now <laughs> me yes oh. okay I'll since we do, do them daily I'll, I'll, i need some regular practice I'll the, here i'll do the oath of manifestation hey hang on one sec i'm gonna get the kids in here and we can do it together oh that'd be awesome <laughs> The one thing that comes from consistency is having that those things that you do on a regular basis and saying these aloud to yourself daily is so key in helping us. So I know she does this with her kids. <laughs> Be transformational. Put some shorts on. He's naked, oh. so I'm gonna put some shorts on. Naked kid alert. <laughs> naked kid alert. Valerie's not here, but Hi. I am. I'm my naked kid. <laughs> That's okay, right. Guys. They're not all here, but a few of them are. There I accept and receive. Wait, 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 stop. Wait, let, just, just wait. Because they have to, she has to repeat it. So mm. just wait, and then you can say it after me, okay? Okay. I accept and receive. I accept, accept and receive. Unexpected good. Unexpected, unexpected good. good. Unexpected money. Unexpected, unexpected money. money. Unexpected love. Unexpected, unexpected love. Unexpected, unexpected kindness. Unexpected, unexpected kindness. 
Unexpected generosity. Unexpected generosity. Unexpected offers. Offers. Unexpected offers. Unexpected prosperity coming in unexpected ways. Unexpected prosperity in unexpected ways. Coming from unexpected places in my life and the life of others. Coming from unexpected ways in my life and ways of others. Did I get it? No, but that's okay. That's good. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I'm closer. I, I am constantly guided. I am constantly I'm guided. And boldly empowered. And boldly empowered. To receive the lavish abundance of the universe. To receive the abundance of the universe. You guys are awesome. I the principle that abundance and prosperity have already been given to me. Oh my goodness, y'all are awesome. <laughs> I can't even say that. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll just say it. We'll just say it so you get the yeah. full effect. Okay. There you go. Okay. I accept, I accept and receive unexpected good, unexpected money, unexpected love, unexpected kindness, unexpected generosity, unexpected offers, unexpected prosperity coming in unexpected ways from unexpected places in my life and the life of others. I am constantly guided and boldly empowered to receive the lavish abundance of the universe. I accept the principle that abundance and prosperity have already been given to me. My acceptance makes it real and opens the space for manifestation to rush in. I open wide the doors of my consciousness to receive and to give. It is done now. Earth who gave to oh, wow. <laughs> we, we have another one that we do afterwards, and it's about giving thanks for the food that we eat. So, anyways, oh, hopefully God. it wasn't too robotic. <laughs> but oh, it's it, perfect. It has tahini and, and, okay. and tea butter. It's okay. And Thank you, guys. Oh, anyways. Aww. Affirmations are really, really powerful. I, I hope that it wasn't too noisy. Um, it just, it, it's really, it's really made such a huge difference. And even my three-year-old knows it. And it's, and even Forrest, my little eighteen-month-old, is starting to say it in his own little way. And it's just so cool to see it developing. And I always make reference when things come into our lives, when, you know, abundance and prosperity shows up into our lives in unexpected ways. We always, you know, it's like this anchor that we have, this thing that we're reminded of, and, and it really gives them the belief in all things that are possible, so. Oh, I'm gonna cry, Greta. Yeah, you're so sweet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for being that example because you are a true team leader being a mom of you know six kids and you have a team that you're daily manifesting and growing and it's such powerful to see um, and be inspired by that and I don't know who else would not be and be a part of that um, mm -hmm. to continuously grow and using those team consistency. See after the event I'm so tired I'm crying like all the time. <laughs> Oh. I have to release, you know, all these this yeah. stuff that goes on, and that's yeah. just what happens. <laughs> and if you didn't cry like I did, you know, or if you cried like I did, I welcome you too. <laughs> and and yeah. so there's so many things that I'm still transforming, and I'm being more aware of, and and that transformation, and 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 seeing that journey that we have to go on to know what it takes to be consistent in a team. So if you are inspired, we cut off the hour, click the link below, find our names, connect with us, message us, and get on some of these calls, to create that journey, and find ways that you can find that culture to find team consistency. We have amazing things coming up. Stay tuned with us Tuesday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you join us next week. Um, we got some really great things 
going on. And we look forward to seeing you guys come. Thanks, George, for the um, comment, a cool video coming up. <laughs> so we'll see you next, guys, next week. Anything else, Greta? That's it. That's all, folks. We'll <laughs> see you next week. Thanks, guys. Click the Bye. Make sure you connect. Bye, guys.